right, so in the previous video, we finished this guy here. Pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up to scene. And then we're going to start on scene two. Okay, so this will probably be, uh, might be the most complicated one. So what I want to do here is have them just being sad. But when you click on them, he says, you know, why does everybody avoid me? Okay, that's, that's the lump sum of that. All right. So let's go ahead and just get the audio in there first. Um, I already, um, it should already be in your scene. It's just this wave file. Why every, everybody avoids me, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new layer and we'll just call it audio and put that at the top just so, I don't know, just feel like it should be. And then just um, with that layer selected, just drop it onto the, um, onto the uh, thing here. Okay, now I don't know how long we need this to be in order for it to um, to work, right? So I'm, what I'm gonna do is go like this. I'm just gonna click and drag, and then I'll hit F5, or you right click, insert frame, and then we'll be like, okay, and then I'll hit enter. Why does everybody avoid? Okay, so not, not enough, right? So let's try four seconds. F5, okay. Oh, gotta make sure it's all the way in the... Why does everybody avoid me? So, um, looks like four seconds is okay. Let's do... Um, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, we'll say that's fine. Okay. Um, good. So we got that. So now the audio is on there. So now what we need to do is um, set up the rest of it. Okay. So... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a mouth layer. And right now, what I did is I just drew them ahead of time. Um, but the idea of it is this, is that you, I'm sure you've probably have seen like the YouTube video where they go bad lip reading. If you haven't seen it, you should watch them. They're pretty funny. Um, but basically, in order to make a, an animated character or just a person in general uh, appear to be projecting um, audio, what you do is you have mouth positions. And the mouth positions do not represent specific letters, consonants, or vowels. What they represent are sounds, right? The different, uh, what we call phonemes, okay? So each one of those uh, are represented here. Now, you could do a whole lot of these, okay? Like, a lot. Uh, I did really what I consider kind of the most bare bones, like as few as you could possibly go, uh, is what I have here. So i drawn it out uh, here. And then I just made shapes to the right of it, okay? Um, this should get us most of the way. Generally, you will see that people will make models somewhere between, like, let's say 10 and 15 for, like, a cartoon character. Um, but to put this in perspective, um, Smeagol or Gollum from Lord of the Rings, which was 20 years ago, their face shapes, uh, obviously this is 3D, so they use blend shapes. They had over 2,000. So that kind of gives you an idea, like, of... Obviously, they were going for like this ultra whatever, and it's a lot of supporting shapes. There's, it gets technical, but there's reasons why it's that many. But still, it's a lot of it's a lot of things to make. Okay, so um, what I did here is I just made these mouth positions to represent u, r, or e. So kind of a, a lower, not a, like an a, but an e, um, and then an e or t, um, you know, like cheese, and then um, l or the. So like la or the, now they're different. I just did the same for both of them, but really one of them, your tongue is in front of your teeth and one of them's the tongue's behind your teeth. So like the is in front and la is behind, but I'm just doing one generic one to kind of represent both. You're not gonna be able to tell. Um, then mm, um, buh, right? Uh, and then ah, so I think it's kind of like an ah, and then a f, okay? So uh, that's basically it. So f or v. Um, but again, that's kind of the same thing there. So like if you do f or v, f, the lips much farther back than v. Um, but you don't really think about these things when you're talking, but that's kind of what we're doing here. Anyway, so I made all these shapes already for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing I showed you in the previous one where we had I had the car and I had the different positions that we could, we could change using Frame Picker. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to make them uh, into a thing. So... Uh, if you want to do this eventually on your own, this is how you would do it. So you would, um, you could just make all your drawings right now. You don't have to do it in a row like this. You could do it later. I'll show you. But anyway, so I'm going to have them all selected. The easiest way to select all of the things on a layer 
because if I try to click and drag, I might get like parts I don't want, or it's gonna be hard. So I'm just gonna click on like this one and then click on, this is the drawings by the way, so I'll just turn that off um, and click, actually this can go away too for that matter. Um, so I just click on mouths and then you'll see everything that's on that layer, and it's just those mouths will be selected. And then I'm just gonna convert them to a symbol. So you can hit F8 or go modify, convert to symbol and make sure it's a graphic, okay? So one of the things that's weird, because I know we pretty much always use movie clips, um, but when you do a movie clip, it, for, it kind of forces it to play the loop. If it's a graphic, you have options in the frame picker. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure it's a graphic and we'll just call it um, cone, cone underscore mouth shapes underscore GPC, okay? Now, once you did that, just go ahead and open up that layer. And now you can see you have all of them. Uh, they're all on that one um, layer here, right? So we just rename this mouse just for fun. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're basically just each frame. I'm going to put one of these drawings. So the easiest way to do this is this. So you may or may not have noticed this. You see this little um, plus symbol? That's actually the center of the symbol. So sometimes you'll see it like down here, down there, it kind of depends on how you made it and all that other stuff. So that's the center of it. So it's best to kind of try and put things always in the center. So what I'm gonna do is with all of them selected, I'm just gonna click and drag and put this one right on center, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag. I'm just using the regular old select tool. I'm gonna click and drag the rest of them. And I'm just gonna hit Control X to cut them. Now, I'm gonna do a new, um, a new keyframe. Now, if I hit F6, what that does is it duplicates the previous frame and then um, paste it. What I want to do is just create a new blank keyframe. So you can right click, oops, stupid thing, right click, um, insert blank keyframe. Let's just do that this time. And now I'm going to hit control. If I do control shift V, it will paste in place. You can just hit control V. If you hit control V, it should center on your view. And I'm going to center the next mouth up, which is this one. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold space bar. I'm going to click and drag the rest of these, control X to cut these. The hotkey for insert blank keyframe is F7. Okay, then I'll hit Control V. I'm going to center. Oops, ah, you stupid thing. I'm going to center this one up there. Grab the rest of these. Control X, and again hit F7, and then Control V. Okay. I oops. Make sure I get all of the rest of them. Control X. Next one F7. Control V. Center it, Control X, F7, Control V, okay, it's like this, Control X, F7, Control V. And then I'm gonna have one that's just a blank because I'm gonna have like kind of the amazing appearing, disappearing mouth kind of a thing like Gilbert. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit F7 like that. Okay, so we'll just have one that's blank. So like his not moving his mouth, normally it would just be a blind cross for his rest mouth, default mouth. I'm just going to have a blank instead. Okay, just because of the style, I think it makes more sense for it not to be like that. You might have noticed when I did these shapes, I didn't put any lines in them because there's no lines on him. So I'm trying to keep that graphical kind of look. So his not mouth is actually just going to be nothing. Okay, so I got this going on there. Now, this will totally work. And if you remember when we did the car one, it just showed frame one, two, three, blah, blah. But we can actually do this, and this will be useful later on. Um, it'll be useful for here, but not as much. But later on, you'll use it for other things. Instead of knowing these frames by the numbers, we can actually know them by a label. So if you click on a frame and then make sure you're in the properties, you'll see frame will now be selected and you can put a label. So this, if you remember, is my ooh. So I'm just going to put two O's and hit enter. And then I'll click next one. And if you see, it says ooh right there. So now that frame is labeled ooh. And then code later on, if you want to select that, you can go grab frame ooh, or you can say grab frame one, you know, but we're not doing code yet, but that's something that later on will be useful for like manipulating things. Okay, so this one is my, um, we'll say R, R. <laughs> it's my pirate mouth. Um, and then this one will be my E, and this one will be my, we'll do TH. It's actually more of a LA, but, and then this will be my M, mm, and this will be my A. Ah. And this will be my F. And then this one we'll just call blank. Okay. So now each one of these have a label of those different sounds. And so when I go to select them, it'll be a little bit easier. Okay. 
All right. Um, okay, so now we've got that. That looks okay. Um, and we just need to uh, do some animation and that sort of stuff. So mouse now have um, this guy here, which let me see. seeing it playing mm. uh, we'll come back to that anyway so I'm just going to go like this and just hit delete because I don't know what's in there just to make sure our mouths are okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag mouth back on there okay I'm not sure what was happening so we're gonna say that's our mouth all right um, and that looks acceptable so what I'm gonna do now we're gonna wait to do this because I'm going to animate um, his body first, and then we'll animate um, the uh, the rest of it, okay? So I'm going to show you kind of some things. Uh, one of the things I did on this body, just because I want to have a little bit more motion, although honestly, I didn't really need to do this, but I did anyway. Uh, so if you double click on it, you can see he actually has two poses. He has like a stand-up one, or, you know, a, a upright and a, and, a, and a slouch, okay? So it's just so that I could have the two, just something to work with. Um, so that's something you could do is you can animate something, just have multiple different, like you could have a bent arm pose and a straight arm pose. And then when you need a bent arm, you just switch to the different ones you need, you know, while you're working, which is kind of nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is actually just go ahead and animate the cone body. So, um, I'm going to have him be like, just slouch to start with. And then he's like, why does everybody? So I'm going to put it, let's say, I don't know what frame is this, 18. So I'm just going to go here. And with, I'm going to select this guy, go to frame picker, and you see I have two. So I'm just going to click on this. It's going to automatically create the key. Why does everybody, and then let me back this up. So I'm just going to click this to zoom out a little. There we go. And then why does everybody avoid me? So I'm going to say avoid me. So I'm going to put it like right here. So I'm going to select him again and then do the slouch. So now he's just going to go. Why does everybody avoid? See what I'm saying? So why does everybody avoid me? It's fabulous. Okay. So um, here's one of the keys to animating in in 2D. Um, that's kind of like the cheap, cheesy way. So obviously, what the idea here is to do as few drawings as possible. You don't want to do a lot of drawing. So I could draw every single pose and go and and down, right? But that kind of stinks. So you're going to notice that most animation, um, this actually goes for both... Um, foreign and domestic, uh, they do this sort of snappy and it works pretty well. So basically what you do is you have one drawing and then you have like one kind of blur drawing and then you have the other drawing. And so you just kind of blend between them. And that's kind of what we're going to do here. So again, like last time when I had the, um, uh, you know, actually we'll do it. So I'm going to show you this just because that way you'll know how this works. All right. So, um, like, so there's a couple different ways to do in this. We could do the classic tween or we could do the motion tween. I'm going to do the motion tween. Go ahead and follow along with me on this part because I want to I want to show you the other way of doing it. So I'm going to right click, create motion tween, right click, create motion tween, right click, create motion tween. What's important to understand is that this drawing here, this is a span. So this, see how there's a, a circle? And then it goes to here. And then this is basically a new span. So whatever happens in this span here doesn't affect this next one, okay? So whatever keys I put in here are not part of this because when you put a key, so I'm going to put a key right here, just, just go to here and hit F6, create key or right click keyframe. You'll see that it's actually a little diamond. Those are keys of position, not keys of the frame picker. It's not a new drawing. Okay. So I'm going to have a position there. And then basically what I want to do is have it kind of blend up to this guy. So I'm going to go to the frame before it and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the um, onion skinny. And what we're going to do is this, I'm going to, let me see. Okay. So I already got my pivot down there. So that's good. So I'm just going to kind of push this back. Okay. That's kind of weird. Why are you acting that way? All right. We'll rotate it back. That seems to work better. Let's undo all that. Cause it's just acting. Oops. Didn't want you there. rotate this back instead. And then we'll scale it up a little bit too. So he'll go like this, okay? But I wanted to not do it the whole time because see how if, if you play this, you're gonna see it's very slow, which just looks weird. Usually motions, most of the time when you see acting or animation, it's a pose, hold, pose, hold, pose, hold, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this keyframe here 
and I'm just going to click and drag it to about here. So now it'll hold that drawing till right here. I'm going to turn off onion skin. It'll hold that drawing till here, and then it'll do the motion and go up. So now you'll see. Why does everybody... Okay, so I might even be able to go a little bit snappier. Let's go ahead and just drag that in a little bit more. Why does everybody... And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put a keyframe here in the beginning. And then I'm going to put a keyframe at the end too. Okay, so basically there's a key of just his scale, his position, and his rotation. And then, so he's going to go up. And then I'm going to put like a pose, like a uh, uh, down, right? Oh, let's go in the beginning so I can hear it. Why does everybody oppose? So on everybody, I'm going to have it go up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to drag this keyframe to about here. Because basically it's going to hold um, from here to here. And then we'll have, um, I'm going to take this keyframe and we'll put it, I don't know. I should leave that one alone for now. And then what I'm going to do is go, let's see. So he's going to go this, and then we're going to go like that. And I'm just going to pull him up a little. I don't know why the skewing isn't working. We're going to pull him up and maybe tilt him a little bit. So he's going to go everybody. So um, then I need him to come down a little right here. So I think this needs to be a little bit closer. Let's put this so it's only two frames, one, two. And then we'll do one, two, three. And then we'll just go ahead and um, rotate this down in this way a little. Every, everybody. And then um, after the down, I want this to hold. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Right click over top of it. We're going to go copy properties. Click here. Paste. Properties. Okay. So it holds, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this one and we will copy its properties. And then right after we will paste its properties. Okay. So now, Why does everybody me? okay. So now he's, he's, uh, we hold that one frame here. So the whole time it looks like this, his rotation is position. And then we did a rotation up and scale up. And then it, the next frame is the actual different frame. Then that one holds till here. And then we just add the key of kind of going up and back a little bit. And then um, after that one, I just put one going down. And then I held it for a second. And then uh, I went back. And then what I want to do is right here, I want him to kind of blend back. So I'm going to actually take this keyframe and move this one back a little bit. We'll go like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and on the last one of this, we'll rotate it forward a little bit and squeeze it down a little bit to kind of help. The idea is that he'll start the motion of doing that and then he'll switch to it. See what I'm saying? So we're blending into that movement. Hopefully that makes sense. So. Why does everybody avoid me? Okay, so it's like, why does everybody avoid me? So we're just trying to get a general. Why does I know this might be a little bit confusing. Just do the best you can. Um, the main idea here is this. You want to try and from one to the next sort of, like if, if you have one pose where the guy's back here and then the next drawing, he's like this. On this one, try to animate a couple frames before it's this. Animate like just a little bit of a lean to, and then when it goes like this, it'll blend because then you'll see a, a this and then you'll see that. So it'll, it'll kind of soften the exchange from one drawing to another. And then the other thing is to do hold, meaning that when you go to a position, just sit on it for a second and then go to the next one. Because what will happen is if it's constantly moving, it'll make your person look like they're seasick. And that will be kind of difficult to, to it, it's, it's hard to read. Um, and it's not how people move. Um, most of the time, you'll see that they won't move. Okay. So uh, in between, because it shows internal thought. All right. Why does everybody avoid me? Okay. So we got that going. That looks okay. Um, and, uh, what we're going to do next is this. Um, so one of the things I forgot to do is I um, forgot to put the one frame. So remember, the first frame is going to be nothing until you click. This is just playing right into it. So in order, it's actually a really easy fix. We're just going to click and drag 
Actually, we'll do it like this. Click and drag across all of these and then just hit F6. And now um, those will hold and then it will do the animation. Okay. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right. Avoid. All right. So now what we need to do is actually let's go ahead and do the mouse. And um, that should work. Okay. So for the mouth, what I want to do is I'm going to take this mouth and we are going to try to position it on him and so on and so forth. So in here, actually on this first frame, he doesn't even need the mouse. So I'm just going to delete it. And now you'll see how this becomes a blank frame. So on the first frame, he has no mouth. It doesn't pop in until um, here. Okay. So what we're doing is we're just going to use the frame picker and uh, um, match it with the audio. Oops. So if you look, the audio is on the first frame, but it's not on this one. So um, I am going to click and drag that here. Uh, so that now that frame's on there and then it leaves the frame behind blank. So that way there's no audio and then the audio starts here instead. Okay, so I just clicked and dragged the frame. So you got to click and then click and drag. You should see it. It'll turn like a little marquee, a little box will appear. All right, so click and drag that over. And then um, now we got to do the lip sync. All right, so I want to start off with on the first one here, I'm just going to select it. And the very first one, I'm just going to start off with nothing because he's not saying anything. So I'm just going to select nothing. All right. Now we're going to go here. Oh, I forgot to do this too. Make sure that you change this to single frame. So that way it doesn't loop through. Okay. So we're going to start with nothing. And then I'm going to go. Now here's the thing with the audio. You won't always be able to hit it exactly on the words. You can kind of see the words here. You won't be able to hit it exactly on the words. So what you generally try to do is have the, the mouth shape actually before the audio. So even by one frame or two frames, however many you want to do, but it's got to be before. Never have the mouth shape after the sound. That doesn't work. Okay. So I'm going to go, we'll say here. And now you're going to notice I can't click on it to do the frame picker. But if you click on the layer itself, like on the frame on the layer that you want, the frame picker will pop up, which is useful. So he's going to say Y. So he's going to start with an O, right? So Y, I'm going to hit V so that way I can see a little better. So Y. So let's go ahead and on this one, I'm going to do this for like what ah, And then um, we'll go ahead and then maybe two later, I'm going to do this. So he's going to go Y, Y. Let's see if that works. Oops, got to start at the beginning. Does it. Yep. So he's gonna go Y, and then does starts with an E. So we just leave that there. Y does. So does. So we're gonna say right. Actually, we'll just put it here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this one again. Does, and again it's gonna be that E. So this does. Um, everyone. So for everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and use my big ah. Uh, Where's my ah? Right here. So why does every so right here? And then we need my my F B re. So uh the R, right? Re. And then let's go one more over. There we go. And then E. Why does everyone every and then right? So we gotta go. See, if I go here, it's on it, and that's a little, see how the audio starts right here? This is one. I think that's one. Let's double check. Hang on. Why does everybody... Oh, everybody. Sorry. So it's supposed to be a B right here. So I'm actually, instead of putting two in between, I'm going to have to start right here. So B. So it's going to be this. Body. And then we'll just go ahead and go to after. Body. So we'll do this. Body. Do after and do an E, everybody, and then it's avoid. So we'll go one before. So if you see right here, see how it's like just after the audio starts? So you want to make sure it's before. You can do it starting on it, but this feels a little bit too close. I'd rather be a little bit early. So everybody avoid me. So um, avoid. So we'll go to after. Where are you at? Avoid. You can also use the greater than less than symbol. So to scroll through your frames, that's actually a little bit easier. Everybody avoid, avoid to, and then it's going to be me. 
All right, and let's see what that looks like. And so we're just watching that right there. Why does everybody avoid me? Okay. So I'm looking at it, and it could be improved, right? So. <laughs> Sorry, that dog is mad annoying. So, um, buddy. So the avoid here. Avoid. Oh, come on. Avoid. Why are you not scrubbing? There we go. Avoid. So I think this D needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to take this one and move this back. I think the the O, avoid, avoid me. Let's see if that looks better. Why does everybody avoid me? Avoid me. You know... I think I'm not a huge fan actually of this one, so I think I'm gonna clear that. Uh, let me see. So this should be where are you? Uh, clear keyframe. So I'm gonna take that out. Avoid me, and then I'm gonna take this and bring this back once. I'll well, see. No, we'll leave it there. And then we gotta go all the way to the beginning. Why does everybody avoid me? Yeah, that just was a little bit better to me. Um, I think the E, the avoid, because you don't say avoid, you usually say avoid. That's not so big. So, um, okay. So that looks pretty okay. So I think for this, what I'm going to do is not do the motion tween thing. I'm just going to go ahead and do um, the uh, classic tween in between them. And then I just have to match it up to this, which is going to be honestly kind of manual and crummy. So. It is what it is. So what we're going to do is grab all of these. I'm just going to click and drag across this, right click, and we're going to create classic tween. And now there are classic tweens between all of them. It doesn't do anything initially, but it will. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to, um, so for this whole part here, it should stay still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a keyframe here so it holds. Because watch what happens. See, it starts to move here. And then he gets his most up right there. So let's say I take this and I move that there. All right, so I'll put this up here, put it right there, okay? Um, now for one, I gotta move this guy too. So let's move this guy right here. Oh, it doesn't matter because there's no move. You don't see it anyways, it's a blank. So we'll leave that alone, I guess. So, so he's gonna go wah. So you can see he's moving, but it moves a little bit forward. So let's move this back a little. Why? So I'm just going to take this guy and put him there. And let's do Q too to rotate him a little bit. And then we'll put this guy up here as well. So we're going to have to go to like each one. Why does... Put every one of them up there. Basically just go all the way through. Oops. <laughs> There's literally nothing going on. She's just barking at nothing. It's really frustrating. She does it all night too. So let's see. I like dogs. I don't like this one. And we'll just, so I'm just basically putting them all over here. On each, I'm just going to each keyframe and dragging them across. Okay, so. Why does everybody avoid me? Why does everybody avoid me? Why does everybody avoid me? Now, you can add a little bit of flourish to this if you want. So usually I do, but I'm not going to make you. So why? So he goes, why, right? Why? So usually it gets bigger. So on the second one of this here, I usually what I do is I'll actually select it. I might have to put a keyframe in first, apparently, for six. Okay. And then I'll actually stretch it out a little bit and maybe even make it a little bit longer. Like that. 
or a little bit. So it's like why, why? And then I would do the same thing here. So on this one, on the second one, again, I'm gonna hit the F6 to create the keyframe. I'll stretch it out. So it looks like he's going why. Why does everybody avoid me? So same thing here. So like maybe I'll just do it on this last one. So over right here, what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit thinner. Maybe even a little bit this way. And then at the very end, I'll add a keyframe, hit F6, and then I'll just extend this out, make it a little bit wider too. Why does everybody avoid me? Okay. And there you go. Why does everybody avoid me? All right, so that looks pretty good. And then the next thing we need to do basically is just the eyes and the um, the arm, right? So there's a lot of things for that dog not to bark at. So let's see, uh, I should have standing sad. Here we go, cone, eyes, sad, okay? So we're just gonna take those and I'm gonna make a new layer for that. Um, and we're gonna put it just above the cone body and we'll just call this one eyes. Okay, and we'll just drop this guy up in here. All right, that's good. And then um, he's fine there. Let's just make sure we put a keyframe here as well. So basically the first frame is that we're gonna have something on the first frame and then the second frame, um, we'll start doing our thing. Okay, so more or less what I need to do is just have this guy kind of follow the same thing as the previous one. Now, one of the problems that we have is that we can't pack this um, to that. So I wanna do this as well. So if you look, you see how he overlaps? This is one of the problems, but if it goes too forward, it's gonna get cut off. So we're gonna try putting a mask on this. So we'll see how this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this layer here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, let's save it. That's a good idea, computer. I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna duplicate that layer. I'm gonna put it above, and then instead of cone body, I'm gonna call it cone underscore mask, okay? And then you're gonna right click on it and you go to mask. And what that does is now when I grab my eyes, I'm going to lock it. Uh, why are you? When I move this over and if we lock it, make that visible, you see it actually cuts it off. So it masks because what it's doing is I, I duplicated this body. And so basically wherever there's a picture, it will cut off from it. And so I just made it the body because I want the I want it to be cut off by where the body is. But I have to make a second duplicate because obviously this body doesn't actually show up. You don't actually see it at all. It's just using the shape of it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, unlock this. Oops, turn. Uh, let's see, eyes. Why do I not see you? Turn that off. There we go. Okay, so... It only works when they're both locked for whatever reason. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm on eyes, make sure I'm on the first frame, and see now I moved it, which is a problem. Let's just up. Okay, I hit something. Go back in here. Okay, that was cool. All right, and then let's just, I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna um, right click. Uh, copy frames, right click, paste frames. There you go. Now it's exactly the same. Okay. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and we'll just do a uh, motion tween for this because I don't really care as much about. So he's going to hold. So he holds from here to here. Okay. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit F6 to create a keyframe. And then he's going to go. We'll say here, because obviously the drawings are significantly different. So I'm just going to take these and I'm going to put them. I'm going to rotate them a little bit and put them back like this. So hopefully, yep. Okay. And then the next one is he's up like this. So I'm going to go up. It'll automatically keep the keyframe. Oops. I didn't think I had both selected. I just wanted this. And then we'll just... Have him up like this. I'm not going to worry about it cutting over because we have that mask. It's just not showing. When I turn um, that off, come on, you can see it gets cut off. Okay, so um, 
everybody. Okay, and then from here, we basically have to mimic the body. So you'll see wherever there's keys for the body, we have to put keys on the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and F6, that way it holds till here. And then we'll do, and then you gotta go up. Maybe we'll just squint them a little bit. Pull them out, back out, like this. Rotate it. Okay, then key here, F6 to hold. And then he's gonna go back a little. So this is one of the things that's annoying because we're doing an HTML. I can't just parent this and have it follow it um, because it's, um, and then we'll do F6 here. And then he comes forward again. I think that's a little too much. And then the next one's right here. Then I think it just holds. Okay. All right. And now um, what I can do is turn this back on and lock this. And now you're going to see that the eyes are actually masked in. So now if I wanted to do a little bit more with it, so like maybe have them that when he goes up, maybe have it look like he's looking to the side. What I could do is take this. Oops. I got to unlock it and turn that layer off. And then I just like the eyes. I could have it kind of go this way. And maybe we'll just squish it instead of squishing it that way. We'll just squish it thinner. And then we'll take the mouth and have it turn too a little bit. And yeah. So now it looks like he looks up and then down. And if I, again, um, turn the mask back on and then lock this layer, You'll see it'll go up, but it'll be cut off. So it doesn't go off the edge. So now it looks like he's looking up. So let's back this up, see what we got so far, and hit enter. Why does everybody avoid me? Why does everybody avoid me? So I probably would have him look down to the right here. So. Let me see. Why does everybody avoid? Yeah. So for here, I'm going to have it make it look like he's. Let's unlock this, turn this off, and I'm going to turn that off. There we go. I'm going to have him go this way, rotate it, get a little bit bigger, like that. And then we'll have the mouth also go this direction a little bit. And then what I need to do is I have to copy this. I'm going to right click, um, copy properties, because you see it's going to blend to where it was before. And then I'm going to go here, right click, paste properties. And that didn't work. Let's try that again. Right click, copy properties. Right click, oh, I had to paste frames, paste properties. There we go. So then I'll hold. And then I just need to make sure the rest of these mouths are also over there. Like so. And then I gotta do the same thing here. Oops. Here he was over there. Okay, so I gotta copy um we're gonna copy frames and then you paste frames. And I'm just gonna move this back one. There we go. That way it's in line. Okay. Why does everybody avoid me? Okay, so, and then I'm just going to lock this, turn that back to visible, so now the mask gets cut in again. Why does everybody avoid me? So, control minus. Why does everybody avoid me? Okay, so you get a rough idea kind of how to animate it. So I know that was kind of a longer video. So uh, I'm not going to bother doing the arms. You get the kind of idea. You imagine he probably has arms on there. Um, anything else in this? I think that was it. Okay, so 
we're going to call that good uh, on this video, and then it'll be um, one more. Um, I know yours probably doesn't look the same. You probably got confused with it. I know it was probably difficult. The main things I really want you to get out of it is just how to work that frame picker, like just how to switch the frames, and then try your best to try and, um, you know, animate. It doesn't even have to look like mine. In fact, do something different, you know, animate him doing different motions or what have you. But just try to get emotions of him kind of going, da, 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 you know what I mean? And then just animate the parts kind of moving in line. Um, and that should hopefully work. Okay. So, um, obviously to do like a elaborate animation you can imagine would be kind of difficult. Why does everybody avoid me? Okay. Um, but we'll call that good. And then the next one, um, we are going to do uh, a different kind of puppet thing.